auction clearance rates, perception, is the art of war, what do they really mean? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Minutes, episode 484. The perception is the art of war, clearance rates. Let's talk about it. I think clearance rates are a good indicator for a lot of people. Like if you're interested in real estate, but you're not always up to date, you may not have an agent you can call to see how things are. It's very mainstream to be aware of clearance rates and whatever the commentator on the clear. It's Clearance rates, they say it on Channel 9, like it, it's not just like you're searching for it. It's very front and center. And your average Joe at home would be like, oh, they're high. Things are good. Oh, they're low. Things are bad. Like, what does it mean when on Saturday? Because they come out pretty quick. Saturday, probably 5 o'clock. They're out. 6 o'clock, they're out. Um, but what do they mean? And do they mean what you think they mean? Mark, what do they mean? <laughs> Absolutely. And look, it's a lot of work that goes in auction clearance rates. So, um, one, you may think that it's being run digitally, but it's being run very analog. Um, we get a call at the end of the day um, asking how the what, how our auction went. We report it to a human, and then that human enters that data and then pushes it up the line. So, Morning, Paul. RP data. Uh, hey Paul, uh, RP Data does um, does one form of it, so they um, they report it. Who are the other people that do? There's a couple of people that are doing doing the reporting. Yeah, RP Data Domain. Um, who have got the info on today is SQM Property Christopher Stevenson or Chris. I'll have it in a sec. He does really detailed reporting, but I think they really all just go through RP Data because you don't get a call from RP Data Domain and X amount. So I think a lot of people leverage off domain. There you go. But there's a, there's a lot of sentiment point. around it. Luke's made a good point, which is what we'll get to. But yes. Okay. Go, sorry, go on. Okay. And you know what? It's really been the only barometer apart from ringing a real estate agent saying, hey, how's the market going? It's really the, the main piece of data that people have used over the last probably 20 years, they looked at that and, and got a warm and fuzzy great or a, uh, oh, shit, the market's going really bad on that one figure. Um, or hum uh, buyers and sellers called their real estate agent and asked to see how it was going. Or they relied on just media, what the media was portraying at the time. Uh, but so it's it's sort of the one hardcore piece of evidence that people like to like to rely on. Yeah, it's consistent. It's done by other people consistently. So it's, it's just always there. And it's almost like a scale that's even if it's wrong, it's right. You can, you can find trends in something that you may see issues with, like a scale that may be two kilos off. Yes, it's wrong. But if you're losing weight, it's still right. So it shows you losing weight. Yeah, it's wrong figure. So let's go. What a clearance rate. So before the week, before Saturday is announced, Every property, let's work off New South Wales, it will say how many auctions. Like last week was 1,300 auctions. They get that figure from realestate.com list. So they must, yeah, they, so it'll be 1,300 auctions. Some do sell prior, which count as sold towards a percentage. And then on the day, all 1,300, like all the auctions are held. Then the ones, then you agents get a call from, the RP data, for example, and say, hey, how'd you go? And the agent's like, I'm the greatest. I sold it. This is how much. And they go, thank you. Add to the data. Later that night, the figures come out. And at the moment, you're seeing 80%, 90%. Northern Beaches a month ago was like 97. So huge data. But with what Luke was saying, and we've got a pretty cool graph from SQM, is the where the floor is so let's that's how it's done and you can see if it's always done the same way like a broken scale it's going to be right but where there can be a bit of issue from because last week's auction rates were 80 percent but once they're finalized they're 61 percent i'll show you here 
I'll zoom in a bit. 61. So here, Saturday, 61% sold prior, 317 rescheduled, 77 sold after. Now, where is the little bit of, not misleading, but gray area is role play that Saturday. The agent takes the property to auction, does not sell it, does not answer the phone when RP data calls and does not change the listing. What do they do with that data? Now, you would think if you had 10 auctions and you confirmed three sold and seven, nothing changed online, couldn't get a hold of the agent, there's two ways you can do it. You can say three out of 10 sold, so your auction rates are 30%, or you can say, I've got a hold of four people, three sold. So three out of four is auction clearance rate, 90%, for whatever, let's say that's the figure. That's how they're doing it. And the seven, Flat. the six you don't know, are just like put aside. So that's where you can see a 20% drop from what was announced on Saturday to now. So that's where it's sort of misleading, but it's not because it's always the same. It's, yeah, it's a little, it's a little interesting. So they're only... So they're only reporting the landed calls. So once they've landed the agent, connected with the agent and got a confirmation of yes, it's sold or no, it hasn't, they're only yeah. reporting the landed. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. So if you're an agent, you, you're sort of going to be like, oh, shit, um, that's, I'm not going to report that. That's the I didn't sell and I don't want to look bad in the paper that I didn't sell it. Yeah. So like... You look at the rest of the week, Saturday, 61%, rest of the week, 60% combined, 61 And then there was last year, he said in his post, last year this time was 45%. So um, I'll put, where was it? I'll put the text in there. But, yeah, that's interesting. So that's where you can see the number online and dig a little deeper. And Lewis Christopher, that's his name, LinkedIn and Twitter, He's on and he posts this data. As Luke said, SQM research is the best. And it's true. Uh, he's it's the not really, so it's, it's not really a good data point, but it affects confidence, which is a result. 100%, you almost think, what, why why show it if, it if it does? Because I find a lot of our market does – Sorry, excuse me, run on sentiment. Don't you reckon, Mark? There's a lot of sentiment. When the media talks well, things and rates, momentum sentiment plays a big factor. Yeah, I think, you know, look, it's a per as we said in our title this, this morning, perception is the art of war. Um, and and the media has a huge part to play in it and, and how people feel in their gut, whether they're warm and fuzzy, uh, high and low, happy or not. So... I think that, um, you know, Michael, we've always look, looked at these uh, articles and we often send each other articles and report back on these articles. And and over time, the articles just keep preparing themselves. You yeah. know, auction clearance rates really does massively change people's perception of the property market. Um, and I think because, you know, apart from ringing up a real estate agent, there's no real core cool way to um, get data out of agents. Um, you've got sales data uh, when something sells, but you know, pe uh, you know, I tell you which, which I think is a really interesting piece of information that um, would change people's perception. It would be attendees at open houses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like imagine, imagine if you could actually monitor on a weekly basis how many people went through open houses every Saturday. That would be a very, very key way to see how active people are in the marketplace. Luke, just answer your question of rates falling. I'll zoom in on the last sort of couple months. It's been pretty, like there's probably 70 and now 61. So yeah, 10% trend down. I think that's over the last year. Let me check. March. So from January, okay, this is January. Wow. Okay. So here we go. Yeah. From January, that would be about 70%, I reckon. Let me check across. Oh, that's the, uh, it doesn't tell you. That's, oh, yeah. So there's the number 60. So 60 is the line, 80 is the top. Yeah. 70. It's probably dropped 9 to 10% clearance rates. You can see there. 
yeah. the volume of auctions are, or is it, sorry, total auctions are the thick blue line, rates are the blue. Yeah. Cool. And, and you know what else? Um, I think uh, we, we've talked about, we've talked about um, educating people around what this actually is, but even if you just play dumb and look at that information, um, it's still an indicator. And, and I, I think that the marketplace itself um, has been absolutely terrific. And we don't want, when those clearance rates are, you actually don't want the clearance rates at 100%. If the clearance rates are at 100%, people are so confident. The market is going so out of control. It's going so stupid. Affordability has shit itself. There's no, you know, it's just terrible for people to buy property. So I think you want it, you want it to safely hover, you know, I don't think you want it to, to, to hover at the 100%. Be careful no. what you wish for. I reckon and I don't think you want to It's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably the happy figure because if you're hovering around 40%, that's in the depth of COVID when everything was tough yeah. and unknown and that we don't want that scaring us either so oh. i i think it's um i think it's a happy place where we you know like about, like what you said around that 75. but uh, 75 on the saturday data just to confirm with people so on, if saturday data showing 80 90 percent 75 85 is pretty good even though it will convert to 60 percent because think how much this means on sentiment and this is obviously great for an agent if they're representing 80 percent when it's really 60 percent Think of the dialogue an agent has on Saturday to the buyer at an auction going, if you hold back now, you, you know the rate's 80, 90, it's selling. So don't wait, yeah. get your height bit out there, buy the property. Compared to rates at 40% or and a client knowing it's really 60% and they're like, well, half aren't selling, I'll, I'll chill back a bit. I won't be as encouraged. I'll see if I can do a deal later if it's a bit... Yeah, it changes that momentum swing a lot because buyers at 80 percent, 90 percent auctions, they're like, we're going there to bid and win because it's going to be sold on that day. We won't have another chance. A lot of buyers in the back of their mind go, I'm only going to go to the top figure and let's say if it doesn't hit the reserve, we'll wait. But yeah, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know, mate, it's, it is a bit of, I don't want to call it manipulation because something's better than nothing and it's sort of right, but it's wrong, but it's, it's interesting. But I think people should know. I think they should disclose um, non, what would you say, non-confirmed, not counted. I don't know. What a, it's been like that for so long. It is what it is. But it's good for people to ask to have the dialogue to people so that they're aware. Absolutely. Yeah. And All that's auction clearance rates. Yeah, that's a wrap, Luke. Uh, I don't think we've actually ever covered. I don't think we've ever covered auction clearance rates. Maybe episode under 100. Not for a while. Not for a while. The guys have a great day. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Bird. Cheers, mate. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>